so good. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be installing some underdrive pulleys and new belts because the car's over 100,000 miles, so it probably needs new belts. And why not install a power adding uh, mod for performance? Uh, it adds about eight to 10 horsepower, if I'm correctly guessing. It comes with a uh, crank pulley. This is from Mach Snell. And it also has a power steering uh, pulley, a new one, probably to underdrive it. So the way this works is uh, it underdrives the accessories to add more power to the crank. Let's go through how to install this. The first step is we need to remove the air box, the intake, the inlets, and the fan. nipple right here breaks really easily and if that breaks you got to get a whole entire new pipe so what I'm gonna try and do is unclip this overflow hose from the fan and then we need to unclip this this plug over here from the fan as well this is the power plug to the radiator fan so that comes off set that aside now the hardest part is getting this fan out because you have to take a few clips out there's one screw right here. I believe that's a T25. This screw right over here. Okay, now we can start wiggling this fan out. So I'm gonna be very careful not to break this nipple here. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a bungee cord and try to keep this out of the way the whole time so I don't break anything. Hmm. Oh, I can put it right here. That might work. Okay. Now, I need to release the clips, which are here. See right here? There's one clip and then there's another one just like it on the other side. Okay, there's one. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Cool. Okay, now the hard part. You see the hoses on the bottom here? I'm gonna unclip these. Okay, that's out on one and there's another one on the other side. That's kind of hard to reach. wiggle back and forth left and right to get this out of here. Okay, there's one side. Woo Hardest part of the job done. <laughs> now the hard part is gonna be putting that back on, <laughs> of course. All right, so this is a good opportunity to uh, take a picture of how the belts are routed because you want to copy the belt routing so we have to release these clip these caps right here so this right here is this cap you got to remove it oh shit i lost that one right over there <laughs> it popped off careful because when you pop them off it gets lost into the oblivion of hoses down there so I'm gonna have to look for that where that went all right so the next thing is after you uh, popped off the caps for the tensioner we'll start with the left side of the engine right over here I have a 14 millimeter socket and a wrench and I'm gonna loosen the tensioner by pushing down so as I loosen that tensioner by pushing down I can start to pull the belt out there you go so now the belt is out. This, uh, there's another pulley over here called the idler pulley. We need to remove that pulley. All right, so I'm removing the idler pulley. It's a 16 millimeter socket. Here it is, the idler pulley. Okay, so we got the idler pulley out. Now we need to get the belt out. You can inspect it. Sec, check if there's anything wrong with it. Nothing really wrong with it. Still in good condition. Probably would have lasted 
another couple hundred thousand miles maybe. So we're on this side now, we're looking at this tensioner right here. So I'm gonna push down on this tensioner. This is a 14 millimeter. Push down on it, loosen the tension and then get the belt out. All right, belt is off of the water pump. It's so stubborn. There we go. This is the water pump belt. Let's take a look at it. Pretty good. Just a couple of uh, tight spots or flat spots, but nothing ripped. So this one would have lasted a good while too. Now that we got all the belts out, we can uh, kind of see what we need to do next. So next thing we're doing is the power steering pulley right over here. There's three bolts, they're 13 millimeters. I already took one out. So I'm gonna take the other two out now. All right, here's the uh, power steering pulley. Here's the differences. The new power steering pulley is a little heavier, it's made out of aluminum and it's bigger. So it's gonna underdrive the power steering, which means we're gonna have heavier steering. So now we're gonna put our bolts back on and install the power steering pulley here. and tighten it all right. all right so the next thing i need to take out is the crank pulley down here it, there's six bolts and they're all t45s all right so i'm going to take this off okay so here's the stock crank pulley uh, this was inside it so i'll be putting this back on with the, the new crank pulley. So these are the, the two crank pulleys together. The stock one is a lot bigger and the new one is a lot smaller. So this one will be this one will be spinning faster, meaning more more performance. Each bolt is gonna be torqued to 20 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna try to hand thread it first. Okay, so I got all six of the crank uh, bolts or crank pulley bolts in. Now I need to torque them to 20 foot pounds of torque. Here we go, starting with the first one. Okay, there's one. We have all the pulleys installed. Let's go get our belts on. Now I need to route it around the crank pulley first, the inner wheel of the crank pulley. Okay. All right, so I just put it on, on the uh, tensioner first, and then I'm going to try to get this belt over the alternator pulley. Okay, here we go. Correctly. <laughs> Why not? Well, it's not on the rib, see? Let's put it. <sighs> Where do I put it? Like right there? <sighs> yeah. That looks about right. See it. All right, so this is our power steering and AC belt. This is the last one to put on. I'm going to start at the crank pulley first and then kind of work my way around. And I'll put the diagram up on the video as well. Once again, this is a 2009 DCT, so it, and the diagram might be different depending on your, the year and make of your car. Okay, so let's this one. On my car, the belt goes underneath the power steering pulley. Okay, so I just put the idler pulley on with the belt because you can't get the belt back on with the idler pulley on. So the idler pulley is back on. I'm going to torque the idler pulley to 22 foot-pounds of torque. 
All right, so that's torques. Okay, here we go. There it is. Okay, let's see here. All right, so here's the finished product. Everything is routed in. All right, let's get our center caps back on for the tensioner and the idler pulley. All right. Now that we have everything on, I'm gonna fire up the car real quick and make sure everything works before I put everything back together especially that radiator fan because it's such a pain to put on and take off so i'm gonna just fire it up i'm probably gonna get some error codes because i have the radiator fan uninstalled but i can clear those codes all right so uh it works that's the good news we're gonna put everything back together now uh, right before I put the radiator back, I just found a leak, a leaking hose right under here. As you can see, it's coming out, so that's coolant. Uh, I want to replace the O-ring on that, so I'm going to pull this out, and all the coolant's going to go in this bucket, and then we're going to pour it back into our expansion tank. Oh, cool. I thought there was gonna be more coming out. All right, so I'm gonna pick out the O-ring on this and then replace the O-ring with a, new, a newer one. Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay, so here's the old O-ring. All right, so here's the coolant that we caught. Uh, I already put a new O-ring on this. Now we're gonna put the coolant back in. Hopefully I don't miss. I also opened the bleed screw up a little bit so I can let some air out. So there's our red uh, indicator. This is our level indicator. So we are back to a full again. Perfect. All right, we're ready to put the radiator fan back on. Once again, be careful of this here. You don't want to break that. wiggle it in there are two there there's one and then I got the other one on okay so as you can see it's dirty now uh, the last thing you have to do is just put the this this bolt on over here in this corner. I got the fan and the bolt in. Now we're gonna, don't forget to plug this in. So you just push it in until it clicks. We got super lucky. This isn't broken, thank goodness. We don't have to wait to order a new part. Just clip them into the clips here. One here, one here, and then another one right over here. Two 10 millimeter screws. Okay, so we finished installing the underdrive pulleys for the E9X M3 platform. Uh, our total time, if you want to take a look, took us two hours, 42 minutes. Two hours and 42 minutes. And that's with taking lots of breaks and also trying to fix uh, a little coolant leak that I had on one of the hoses. So I had to replace the O-ring. Not too bad of a job. 
um, especially if you have a second set of hands to help you with routing the belt and putting it on. Well, we're gonna find out if it's a good, worth it mod or not. We'll take it out for a test drive here in a sec. We get food. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on our Instagram, Cars with Ellie. All right, so while we're driving to warm up the car, uh, let's go ahead and see if there's any differences driving the car. So um, I have the car tuned with heavier steering. <clears throat> so it's supposedly supposed to make the steering really heavy. We'll find out when we make a U-turn here because we have the new pulley. Okay, so it feels a little bit heavier, the steering, but it's not that too bad. It's not super noticeable. It's a little bit heavier. Um, and this is with sports steering on. Our alternator is also working right here. You can see we're at 14.2 to 14.3 volts. So the alternator is charging right now. The throttle response, it's slightly faster. Like, uh, I wasn't expecting it to, like, the same level of uh, pedal that I would normally do before the pulley, that same level is, like, a stronger, stronger response now, so the response is faster. Let's do a full throttle pull here and see if there's any difference. temperatures are still the same even though even though we've underdriven the water pump it's still around 185 to 190 so that's a good sign so we just got back home and everything looks good so far I double checked all the belts everything's routed correctly the verdict I think is it did increase horsepower by a small amount I mainly feel the it revs faster it revs a little quicker uh, the throttle response is quicker um, the shifts feel crisper. So I think the, the pulley, the underdrive pulley is worth it. Uh, none of the accessories got underdriven too much. I didn't feel any differences. Aside from the, the power steering is a little bit heavier, but that's that's fine. You you get used to that. Um, you mainly notice it on low speed U-turns. So that's the install and the video review of the underdrive pulleys for the E9X or E9X M3. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, content. Again, thank you guys very much, and have a good rest of your day.